Hi everyone, it's Shotzi for the Rough Cuts. I hope you've been having a great week so far and had a wonderful holiday. Today I'm going to be talking about a new movie that is coming out that I had the pleasure of seeing last month, and that is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I can finally talk about it. I'm so excited because I really, really loved this movie. This, of course, is directed by Matt Reeves, who did an absolutely brilliant job, and I don't use that term lightly, or very often for that matter, but he really did. This movie is just absolutely phenomenal. It's starring Andy Serkis as Caesar, he's reprising his role as Caesar, as well as Jason Clark, Gary Oldman, and Carrie Russell. Now, the setting of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes takes place 10 years after Rise of the Planet of the Apes. So, if you recall at the end of Rise, Simeon Flu had started to take over the world. At this point in time, most of the human race has been completely annihilated from the planet, and the only humans that are left are the people who are genetically immune to the virus. Now, if you recall from Rise, the apes had all gone off into the trees to try to live their lives peacefully. So they were going to stay in the canopy, the humans were going to stay out of the canopy. So where the apes have built this entire peaceful civilization and Caesar along with some of the other lab apes such as Koba and Maurice, they have begun teaching the other apes how to communicate and some of them can also talk. Not as eloquently as Caesar, but some of them can. And at this point in time Caesar has his own family. He has a wife, he has a son who he hopes is going to take on his role after him. And they've really built this wonderful peaceful civilization. The humans on the other hand they have been living peacefully, the ones that are left, inside of an enclosed area. Because at this point in time, there's been a lot of war because when you have pretty much the end of the world staring at you in the face, it's going to, be the, it's going to bring the worst out of a lot of people. So there is a lot of warring for supplies, food, shelter. And so Gary Oldman and... Jason Clark's characters have built this community within these walls and they've been living peacefully so far. However, they're about to run out of power and they're afraid that when that happens, chaos is going to ensue. So they take an excursion up into the canopy looking for a dam that they know was once there. They hope that they can get it working so that they can restore power in their community. That sets the premise for the story, when the humans come in contact with the apes. So, at this point in time, we know that there's tension that's there, there's a lot of distrust that is there, but you also have individuals on both sides who are for peace. On both sides, there is good and there is bad. And it sets a tone for just a really, really great story. You have a lot more character development in this, and you get to see the relationships and the connections between the people and the apes and everyone within the communities. More so from the position of the apes as opposed to the humans. There is a lot of development on the human side, but not so much as there is with the apes. And so that's really the focus here how their civilization is building, and how that will take us into the third part of this, just before we get to Planet of the Apes. Now, like, technically speaking, this was phenomenal. I, I have worked with orangutans in the past, and when they were showing Maurice, and granted, like, orangutans, a lot of times they don't really move that much, so you could really focus on the adults and I kept on looking at it and I was thinking that has to be a real orangutan. I mean they just did a spectacular job on the CGI on Maurice. On the chimps, uh, it, it was, some of it was really good 
And then others, it was just kind of, ah, you can really, really tell that CGI. But the ones that they're really focusing on, Caesar, Caesar's son, you, you, you could tell that there was just so much, so much um, attention paid to detail. And it was just spectacular. It really, really was. So great use of CGI in this. And usually I'm not that much of much of a fan of CGI. I really like practical effects. But this was done on such an incredibly large scale that I don't think they could afford that. As much as I love old documentaries of like the apes with like their long like cigarette holder smoking and all of that. Yeah, you just don't get that anymore. I don't think you ever will. But this was great. It was great to see. So great use of CGI, great story. Andy Serkis did a phenomenal job of this once again. Terry Natari, who did the choreography for the movement of all of the apes, I mean, it's spectacular. It really, really is. Because they moved like primates move. So it's just really great job all around. And I look forward to the next installment of this. Usually I'm not that crazy about trilogies, but Rise of the Planet of the Apes and then now this one, they're both just really, really solid films. Solid storytelling, solid direction, solid movie. And this is a long movie. It's over two hours long. And it was just phenomenal. Ah, oh, just a real joy. This opens July 11th. Definitely go check this one out. It's worth seeing in the theater. Looks beautiful. Very, very spectacular. Great effects. Great story. Once again, I can't emphasize that enough. This is really an exciting movie to watch. Very enthralling. And it's not just because I got to be at like the special premiere for Gary Oldman. Because sometimes you get swept up in that whole atmosphere and the excitement of it. But like his presence along with Andy Serkis and Matt Reeves being there. It was really, really cool. Great energy. They were all really nice. Yes, I am aware of that Playboy interview. And you know what? He was really nice to me. So that's all I have to go by on that one. Very Absolute gentleman. Very, very courteous. And seemed like a genuinely nice person. Just very matter of fact. Some people don't like that sort of thing. But, um check this one out. It is definitely worth your time. It's worth your money. Go see it. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes in theaters, July 11th. I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.